Good morning from St. Thomas Episcopal Church and School in San Antonio, Texas, and welcome to Morning Prayer for the morning of Saturday, April the 27th. Today let's pray for peace on earth, and let's pray for the peace of Jerusalem. In the Anglican Communion today, we're praying for the Diocese of East Kerala and the Church of South India. In our own diocese this week, we're praying for St. George in San Antonio and St. Mark's in San Marcos. We pray for Michael, our presiding bishop, for David, our bishop, and for Mike and Allie, our priests. And as always, from wherever you are, please bring your own concerns, intentions, and thanksgivings to prayer this morning. So let's start on page 77. Thanks be to God who gives us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. And on page 79, let us confess our sins against God and our neighbor. Most merciful God, we confess that we have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed by what we have done and by what we have left undone. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We are truly sorry and we humbly repent. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us and forgive us that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways to the glory of your name. Amen. Almighty God, have mercy on us. Forgive us all our sins through our Lord Jesus Christ. Strengthen us in all goodness, and by the power of the Holy Spirit, keep us in eternal life. Amen. Lord, open our lips, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia, the Lord is risen indeed. Come, let us adore him. Alleluia. And on page 83, let's say Christ our Passover. Alleluia, Christ our Passover has been sacrificed for us. Therefore, let us keep the feast. Not with the old leaven, the leaven of malice and evil, but with the unleavened bread of sincerity and truth. Alleluia. Christ being raised from the dead will never die again. Death no longer has dominion over him. The death that he died, he died to sin once for all. But the life he lives, he lives to God. So also consider yourselves dead to sin and alive to God. In Jesus Christ our Lord. Alleluia. Christ has been raised from the dead, the first fruits of those who have fallen asleep. For since by a man came death, by a man has come also the resurrection of the dead. For as in Adam all die, so also in Christ shall all be made alive. Alleluia. Alleluia, the Lord is risen indeed. Come, let us adore him. Our psalm for today is Psalm 55. And that's on page 660. Hear my prayer, O God. Do not hide yourself from my petition. Listen to me and answer me. I have no peace because of my cares. I am shaken by the noise of the enemy and by the pressure of the wicked. For they have cast an evil spell upon me and are set against me in fury. My heart quakes within me and the terrors of death have fallen upon me. Fear and trembling have come over me, and horror overwhelms me. And I said, Oh, that I had wings like a dove, I would fly away and be at rest. I would flee to a far-off place and make my lodging in the wilderness. I would hasten to escape from the stormy wind and tempest. Swallow them up, O oh Lord, confound their speech, for I have seen violence and strife in the city. Day and night the watchmen make their rounds upon her walls, but trouble and misery are in the midst of her. There is corruption at her heart. Her streets are never free of oppression and deceit. For had it been an adversary who taunted me, then I could have borne it. Or had it been an enemy who vaunted himself against me, then I could have hidden from him. But it was you. 
a man after my own heart, my companion, my own familiar friend. We took sweet counsel together and walked with the throng in the house of God. Let death come upon them suddenly. Let them go down alive into the grave, for wickedness is in their dwellings, in their very midst. But I will call upon God, and the Lord will deliver me. In the evening, in the morning, and at noonday, I will complain and lament, and he will hear my voice. He will bring me safely back from the battle waged against me, for there are many who fight me. God, who is enthroned of old, will hear me and bring them down. They never change. They do not fear God. My companion stretched forth his hand against his comrade. He has broken his covenant. His speech is softer than butter, but war is in his heart. His words are smoother than oil, but they are drawn swords. Cast your burden upon the Lord, and he will sustain you. He will never let the righteous stumble, for you will bring the bloodthirsty and deceitful down to the pit of destruction, O God. They shall not live out half their days, but I will put my trust in you. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Let's go to our readings. We're continuing in the first letter of St. Paul to the Thessalonians. We're going to read chapter 4 from verse 1 through verse 12. Finally, brothers and sisters, we ask and urge you in the Lord Jesus that as you learned from us how you ought to live and to please God, as in fact you are doing, you should do so more and more. For you know what instructions we gave you through the Lord Jesus. For this is the will of God, your sanctification, that you abstain from fornication, that each one of you know how to control your own body in holiness and honor, not with lustful passion like the Gentiles who do not know God, that no one wrong or exploit a brother or sister in this matter. Because the Lord is an avenger in all of these things, just as we have already told you beforehand and solemnly warned you. For God did not call us to impurity, but in holiness. Therefore, whoever rejects this rejects not human authority, but God, who also gives his Holy Spirit to you. Now concerning love of the brothers and sisters, you do not need to have anyone write to you, for you yourselves have been taught by God to love one another, and indeed you do love all the brothers and sisters throughout Macedonia. But we urge you, beloved, to do so more and more, to aspire to live quietly, mind your own affairs, and to work with your hands as we directed you so that you may behave properly towards outsiders and be dependent on no one. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. And for our first canticle, let's read the Song of Creation on page 88. Glorify the Lord, all you works of the Lord. Praise him and highly exalt him forever. In the firmament of his power, glorify the Lord. Praise him and highly exalt him forever. Glorify the Lord, you angels and all powers of the Lord. O heavens and all waters above the heavens, sun and moon and stars of the sky, glorify the Lord. Praise him and highly exalt him forever. Glorify the Lord, every shower of rain and fall of dew, all winds and fire and heat, winter and summer, glorify the Lord. Praise him and highly exalt him forever. Glorify the Lord, O chill and cold, drops of dew and flakes of snow, frost and cold, ice and sleet. Glorify the Lord. Praise him and highly exalt him forever. Glorify the Lord, O nights and days, O shining light and enfolding dark, storm clouds and thunderbolts. Glorify the Lord. Praise him and highly exalt him forever. Let the earth glorify the Lord. Praise him and highly exalt him forever. Glorify the Lord, O mountains and hills and all that grows upon the earth. Praise him and highly exalt him forever. Glorify the Lord, O springs of water, seas and streams, O whales and all that move in the waters, all birds of the air glorify the Lord. 
praise him and highly exalt him forever. Glorify the Lord, O beasts of the wild, and all you flocks and herds. O men and women everywhere, glorify the Lord. Praise him and highly exalt him forever. Let the people of God glorify the Lord. Praise him and highly exalt him forever. Glorify the Lord, O priests and servants of the Lord. Praise him and highly exalt him forever. Glorify the Lord, O spirits and souls of the righteous. Praise him and highly exalt him forever. You that are holy and humble of heart, glorify the Lord. Praise him and highly exalt him forever. Let us glorify the Lord, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Praise him and highly exalt him forever. In the firmament of his power, glorify the Lord. Praise him and highly exalt him forever. And let's go to our second reading, our gospel reading for today, in the Gospel of St. Matthew. We're going to finish chapter 5. We're going to begin with verse 38 and go through verse 48. You have heard that it was said, an eye for an eye and a tooth for a tooth. But I say to you, do not resist an evildoer. But if anyone strikes you on the right cheek, turn the other also. And if anyone wants to sue you and take your coat, give your cloak as well. And if anyone forces you to go one mile, go also the second mile. Give to everyone who begs from you, and do not refuse anyone who wants to borrow from you. You have heard that it was said, You shall love your neighbor and hate your enemy. But I say to you, love your enemies and pray for those who persecute you, so that you may be children of your Father in heaven. For he makes his sun rise on the evil and on the good, and sends rain on the righteous and on the unrighteous. For if you love those who love you, what reward do you have? Do not even the tax collectors do the same? And if you greet only your brothers and sisters, what more are you doing than others? Do not even the Gentiles do the same? Be perfect, therefore, as your heavenly Father is perfect. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. And our second canticle for today is the Song of the Redeemed on page 94. O ruler of the universe, Lord God, great deeds are they that you have done, surpassing human understanding. Your ways are ways of righteousness and truth, O King of all the ages. Who can fail to do you homage, Lord, and sing the praises of your name? For you only are the Holy One. All nations will draw near and fall down before you, because your just and holy works have been revealed. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. And on page 96, let's say the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you. And now let's pray together the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. And let's say Suffrages B on page 98. Save your people, Lord, and bless your inheritance. Govern and uphold them now and always. 
Day by day we bless you. We praise your name forever. Lord, keep us from all sin today. Have mercy on us, Lord, have mercy. Lord, show us your love and mercy, for we put our trust in you. In you, Lord, is our hope, and we shall never hope in vain. And our collect for today is the collect for the fourth Sunday in Easter, and that's on page 225. O God, whose Son Jesus is the Good Shepherd of your people, grant that when we hear his voice, we may know him who calls us each by name and follow where he leads, who, with you and the Holy Spirit, lives and reigns one God forever and ever. Amen. And on page 99, the Collect for Saturdays. Almighty God, who after the creation of the world rested from all your works and sanctified a day of rest for all your creatures, grant that we, putting away all earthly anxieties, may be duly prepared for the service of your sanctuary, and that our rest here upon earth may be a preparation for the eternal rest promised to your people in heaven, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And on page 100, our prayer for mission. O God, you have made of one blood all the peoples of the earth, and sent your blessed Son to preach peace to those who are far off and to those who are near. Grant that people everywhere may seek after you and find you. Bring the nations into your fold, pour out your Spirit upon all flesh, and hasten the coming of your kingdom. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And on page 101, let's say the general thanksgiving. Almighty God, Father of all mercies, we, your unworthy servants, give you humble thanks for all your goodness and loving kindness to us and to all whom you have made. We bless you for our creation, preservation, and all the blessings of this life. But above all, for your immeasurable love and the redemption of the world by our Lord Jesus Christ, for the means of grace and for the hope of glory. And we pray, give us such an awareness of your mercies that with truly thankful hearts we may show forth your praise, not only with our lips but in our lives, by giving up ourselves to your service and by walking before you in holiness and righteousness all our days. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, to whom with you and the Holy Spirit be honor and glory throughout all ages. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. For our reflection time today, we're going to try something new. Um, this is based on something I saw uh, more years ago than I would care to even remember. I was a big fan of Charles Kuralt, the newscaster, um, and his On the Road series. But after Walter Cronkite retired, uh, Charles Kuralt had a morning show, a morning news show on CBS. And I think it came on at like 6 o'clock in the morning Central Time. And so I would get up just crazy early in the morning to watch it. And one of the things I loved was he would always kind of give a different spin, a different take on things. Um, he, would, he would report the news, but he would also kind of come at it from a different angle. And this was in the middle of the whole um, insurrection or uprising in El Salvador, all the war and uh, the horrors in El Salvador at that time. And this one episode, I will just never forget it, because at the end of the show, some, <laughs> in a way kind of like what we do, um, he said, I want you to see a, a, a side of El Salvador that you don't see in the news. And what they did is they took a camera out into the jungle and just left it there. And so anything that happened to pass by, a bird or an animal, um, the plants blowing in the wind that happened to be in front of the camera is what we saw. And the sounds were the sounds of the birds and the wind and the trees and those kinds of things. And it was such a different take when all you were hearing at that time was about the ugliness of this place, to see that there was a great deal of beauty there. So, in the spirit of Charles Kuralt, we're going to try something for our uh, reflection time today. We're going to set the camera up and we're going to point it to one of the bird feeders and then we're going to go inside because while we're out here moving around, the birds aren't going to come. But I can hear them all around us and so we're going to just let the camera run and leave the microphone on 
so you can hear the birds and the wind and the trees and the wind chimes and the fountain. You can hear the water. Um, and, but we're not going to do music today. I just want you to be in our nature here today. So let's take a few moments for reflection. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all evermore. Amen.